What's up, everyone? This is Kenny here from Property Stories. And today, I'm in my favorite neighborhood. Where else? Petaling Jaya, right? So I'm in Taman Mayang, to be exact. Taman Mayang, I'm going to show you this condominium. It was completed in 1998 by Capital and Financial Limited. It's called Mutiara Oriental Condominium. This condominium is about, yeah, it's about 20 years now, 20 plus years old. And it's low density. It's surrounded by landed properties, uh, so there's no space for you to build any more nearby. It's very, it's highly suitable if you're looking for a place that is uh, in PJ to stay. And guess what? Most of them you can get for less than 500,000. Where else in PJ you can get for 500,000 where amenities are all around? Not many places, right? So here's one of it. Uh, let me take you around. Okay, so I'm in the common. The moment you go in inside, this is the guard house. So you have two blocks, right? One Phoenix, and another one is called Dragon. And that is the management office and also the pool. So I'll take you around to the facilities first, and then we'll go up to the unit. All right, let's go. This is the entrance to the management office. Up there, you have a gym. Beautiful. You can hear the sound which a waterfall that side. Okay, I'm in the gym. You require access start to go in. You can see it's quite complete. Huh? There's a treadmill, cycling, all the equipment here. It's a small gym, but it's enough huh? for the residents here. There's a big machine here, so bench press and also weights. This section is for the dumbbells. Okay, I think I better leave. It's very hot inside here. I didn't own the fan since I'm only coming a while. Let's go to another place. The moment you walk in here straight, there's the signboard. On the left is the management office. Okay. There's the beautiful pool still under lock from the MCO. On the left side, you'll go to Phoenix and on your right, you'll go to Dragon Block. There's also mini marts here and of course a water dispenser here. You have to pay lah. Let me take you to the pool first. It's the most beautiful part of the place if you like to swim. Look at the size of it. It's huge, you know. Uh, okay, there's a. Let me just zoom in up for you. There's this, uh, it's a Kiddies site. It's a Kiddies pool. Then you saw the bit darker blue, right? There's the adult one, it's a bit deeper. And there's also even a waterfall. Imagine after MCO, you get to sit down here, relax, children play. Okay, let's see other facilities. Now it's on the left side. 
there are shops here, so they are easy for you. You don't have to, you don't have to go out this place. So even a laundry shop here, so it's self-sustaining. You don't feel like doing your laundry. You can pass it here. That is the entrance to the to the residence. On my right, you will see a football field. See, there's a there's a goal post there. Yep, it's a football field. And here also has some shops. That's the shop, and that's the shop. Okay, that's the that's the lobby before you going up the lift. Now from the pool, if you turn right, you will go to the Dragon Tower, so known as Block D. Yeah. Okay, again you have mud, mini muds here so you don't have to go out. And there's also a cafe here. There's a cafe here. There's another boutique here. Because the cafe is closed uh, until temporary, until further notice. And the design is the same. We the Phoenix Tower just now. There's a lobby here. And also some shop below. Although not many around that is open at this moment. Never mind, let's go to the other facilities. On the left, you have children's playground. Children's playground, right? Let me take you to the children's playground. Beautiful, well maintained. You see this uh, walkway? I like this walkway. And you see the surrounding. Uh? Let me take you, show you the surroundings. It's very clean, you know, the maintenance here. Just goes to show that this place has a lot of uh, owners and own, own occupiers. Just normally, normally, I'm not saying all the time, the places with owner own occupiers, they will be paying the maintenance fee and they will also be very concerned about the place. Look at this. It's sweep nicely, leaves are all one side. This place is where they sit down and with the children playing behind. Then you can take this staircase on the side to go to the tennis court and also another car park. Let's go there. From the staircase there, walk right up, down. Here, see, oh, the behind is facing the old housing estate, this one. Uh, this condo. So there's actually no, no block views. Later I'll take you and show you what I mean. You reach this place, the tennis court. There's two actually. One, two tennis court. Tennis players. Look at the court. So well maintained. You all will know what I mean. Eh? Let me show you what I mean. Look at that. Surfaces are all smooth. Well maintained. Second court as well. Surfaces are so smooth and well maintained. Beside the tennis court, you have this multi-story car park. This car park is for residents only. Eh? Still not enough. And in front there, all the way up there, you have car parks, car parks. You have ample car parks actually. The funny part here is that uh, one unit usually comes with one car park only. So, that's I think a, a bit of a disadvantage at this day and age. The visitor's car park is in front, near the house. Now let me take you up to the unit and we shall go and see what the unit has to offer, right? So as you come in here, these are all, these are, this behind here is all for, for visitors parking, yeah? And then some of the residents will have the car parks here, right up here, and behind is visitor. If you come in from the main door, this is the steps you take to block B and you will reach to this open air garden area. See this, the garden? And then you go in, there's your mailbox and also that side it will be your lift. Walk further in. You reach two lifts. One's the west wing, one's the east wing. So there's four lifts, but only two lifts per floor. To leave per floor, you will see that it's very sufficient. It's sufficient because the density is very low. So you reach here the mailbox. Here's your mailbox, okay? New norm. 
lots of puzzles. So let's go up. You, this is a panel here. It requires an access card. So there's two access cards. One is for here and another one is for the guard house parking. Okay, the moment you exit the lift, standard, you can see your floor. And there's a door here. Go out. The moment you get out here, the door will be, you reach to the sign. And you can see there's only six units per floor, making it a very low dense one. So there's one here, two, three, that's the fire exit, four, five, and six, okay? Low density, there's, hence there's only two lifts for one floor. Okay, I'm finally at the unit. And you can see I finally get to take off my mask. What a relief. It was tiring. Let's go and check the unit out, okay? Before we go in, the unit here, the unit is this size, is uh, 1008 square feet. 1008 square feet. Has two rooms, two bathrooms. Eh? Comes with one car park. There's a few sizes and layout here. And due to its age, right, you do not get to find the layouts. Eh? Layout plan like what you have now in the new development. So let me take you around the house. Because this house is uh, refurbished, uh, recently refurbished. It's a shoe cabinet, beautifully done shoe cabinet. On the left is the fire hydrant. This is the main door. So you go in. On the right, you will see a dining hall. Dining hall. Ceiling is quite high. Uh. Dining hall, that's the kitchen. You have a window there. And this is the living hall. Living hall. Internet, you can plug in there. And it comes with a balcony here. Eh? I will show you what I mean uh, when I say this place is unblocked view. This, see that side? The side here, there's no more high rise to block it. And this side, there's no more high rise. It's all landed, there's no more space. So that's the specialty of this place. And then from here, you get to see that this side, so I mentioned was the visitor parking, right? Ah, this one. And look at that. There's a pool here, and also this one is the, where the management office and also the mud is here. Let's go and continue to check two of the unit. In the hall here, the hall is big enough, right, to fit sing couch here, easily five-seater couch. You can go in this hall, you go to this side, you reach your master bedroom on the left, and kitchen on the right. Eh? My favorite part of the room, house kitchen, the wow, this owner really did a lot of renovation. So there's a new tabletop, comes with a double sink as well. Double sink, so you can move that sink, the pipe to wash. There's the exhaust for the smoke out. You just need to re put it a stove eh, and you can connect it already. See, there's a plug here and also the water outlet washing machine. This washing machine inlet, washing machine outlet, everything is done. So the new owner, right, has very minimal things to do. Yes, this house is for sale. This is the master room. 
Again, owner has done up the paint and new tiles for the master room. Even the toilet. So done up nicely. That's how the master room will like. Tiles, everything new. Comes complete with also the shower screen. From the kitchen, come up from the master bedroom, turn to the left and you will go down another corridor where you reach the common bathroom. Common bathroom. Shower head place. Okay. On the right is the second bedroom. Second bedroom is also large enough. Huh? to fit a queen size bed, no problem. The bucket is also new, huh? the bucket is new. So just replace queen size bed and you can also replace this icon in the one. We have come to the end of the tour of Mutiara Oriental. I hope you have liked the tour and also if you have not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to the channel so that you see more contents like this and also hit the like button so that for the YouTube algorithm so that more people will be able to find this video if you find this useful. If you have any more questions with regards to property and financing, feel free to WhatsApp me or email me. If you want to get my book, the link is down below. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. This is Kenny here from Property Stories. Bye-bye.